Snakes, for many people, are creatures to be feared. Their long, thin bodies, their ability to slither almost silently is one of the reasons a lot of people find the reptile so scary. But a recent discovery proves that they may not have always been this way. Scientists have uncovered a fossil of a four-legged snake, which lived more than 100 million years ago. Well, then, as our science correspondent, Jonathan Webb, I have to just admit to the slight discomfort I feel talking <laughs> about snakes, Jonathan, but uh, how was this discovery made of this fossil? With remarkable tale, actually. So it was probably dug up um, from a particular formation in Brazil many years ago, but then it languished in a private collection for decades, actually. And somehow it ended up in a German museum where it was on display, labelled Unknown Fossil, uh, and a researcher from Portsmouth University actually discovered it on a field trip with his students. They were there to see uh, the Archaeopteryx fossil, an ancient bird fossil, which this museum is very famous for. Then they happened to see this snake, and looking very, very closely at it, the paleontologist from Portsmouth spotted the legs and thought, hang on, this could be a really important thing and they, he asked them, the museum for permission and they set up a, a study team and they got to work on it and uh, it turns out it's a very, very significant find. Well, it sounds like, imagine for the students, it's a trip they'll never, ever forget. Uh, what would the world have been like 100 million years ago when the snake lived? Well, that was the, almost the kind of peak of the, the dinosaurs era. They were around for a long time before and after that, but there was a lot else going on as well. And um, there were probably quite a few snakes, but they're relatively rare in the fossil record snakes. So that's why this was a particularly important find. We've seen a few other snakes before from this period and a little before and after that had two legs. They just had their hind legs. But this is the first one ever with all four of its legs. And importantly, it seems to be very closely related to the family that gave rise to modern snakes. Now, here is the artist's impression of the snake. The, this is the picture that makes me feel particularly uncomfortable, I have to say. <laughs> Those are the legs there, then. Would they have used them for, for walking, or, essentially? Is that what they were for? No, it seems like this snake was already slithering, so it had stopped using its legs for walking. So it was slithering, slithering around in just oh, the way that Stop makes you uncomfortable. Stop saying slithering. <laughs> um, but the legs were still useful, so they're quite highly developed. They've got long, skinny fingers, uh, so it seems like they must have been used for something, and the researchers' best guess is they maybe used them to grab onto other snakes during mating, or even onto its prey, as you saw in that illustration. So after it had grabbed onto something, it might have tried to keep hold of it with those long little fingers. But the, the legs are actually pretty small. They're only about seven millimetres long on a sort of 20 centimetre snake. So Jonathan, this must be really interesting for scientists, just in terms of looking at how snakes have, have evolved. I mean, how does it add to the debate? It's a, it's a very interesting addition to that debate, actually. So there's been a controversy raging for, I think, over 100 years about whether snakes evolved from land reptiles, which were burrowing, or from marine reptiles, which were swimming. And this particular little guy seems to be very, very well adapted for burrowing and not for swimming. He's got various features which suggest he lived, at, he lived sort of partly underground, and so it almost, people think, clinches the argument for snakes having slithered into existence on land and not at sea. I like your language, the little guy. And what, what's <laughs> the name that they've given him as well? They've called it Tetrapodophus amplectus, which means uh, four-footed snake, the first part. And the last bit is actually the Latin word for embrace. So the researchers have dubbed it the huggy snake with the its huggy. four limbs for holding right. on. I'll, I'll attempt to get my head around that, Jonathan. <laughs> Thanks so much.